Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, this video is going to be highlighting some upgrades that ED has done for the DCS AI. This update is not currently live, but I believe it is going live with the next open beta update. So big thank you to ED for allowing me to have a sneak peek at this and show it off to you guys. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, this is a video to showcase the new AI improvements that ED have added to uh, AI and their BVR capabilities. Uh, there are BFM stuff, but they will be coming a little bit later on. Uh, this one is not public yet. This will be coming very, very soon, but I want to showcase it for you guys. I want to just do a quick BVR fight with an F-15, and then we're going to go to TAC view and break down what the AI does, what it understands. Um, all that kind of stuff. So the real meat and potatoes of this video will be the tack view section, I think. But even this should be somewhat interesting. I would be very surprised if the AI was able to kill me. Um, it's not a Terminator at the end of the day. They've just made it much more intelligent. But I, I hope that I can still kill it. And I'm hoping that it can provide a bit of a pucker factor, which AI has not been able to do for me in the past it's just there you know once you learn the game and you learn the basics of bfm or sorry bvr um, ai just they just don't they don't cut it anymore and that's why a lot of people have to go to the pvp stuff and start finding people for them to fight this ai i'm hoping we're gonna you know bridge that gap a little bit and get this thing to be a little bit more competitive um, so again in the interest of keeping this completely fair we have two F-15s, and there's a lot more experiments we need to do with this in the future as well. This is just a quick scenario um, that I want you guys to kind of just see it. Um, now, I have climbed pretty high up here, and I still have my two fuel tanks, which I'll drop once before we, before we launch this first AMRAM. Um, I don't have the AI on radar yet, but I sure hope he has climbed. That would be the first thing that I would expect to see from him. I'm about 31, passing through about 32-ish thousand feet now. And still don't have him on radar. Um, and But it should be, he, he sh that should be like the first thing that the AI should have been taught at this point. How to get high, how to get, get fast, so that he can really launch his AMRAMs. Um, and then what I'm super interested in seeing is how this AI plans to defend the incoming AMRAMs. That's the real interesting stuff um, that I want to see here. Now we are uh, about 36... Oh, there he is. Look at him. I'm 36,000. He's 36,000. So he's basically done the climb exactly as I, as I did it. Very interesting. Okay, so he's up here. We got him locked up on TWS. He's probably got me locked on TWS. That's track while scan for anybody who doesn't know. And okay, we're going to drop our tanks here. Okay, and Fox 3. There it is. And so that's that's a fairly long range shot. It was about 50 miles. Um, I'm going to now crank to the left, nice and easy. I'm still outside of the Mar, so I'm not freaking out too much right now. Uh, we're going for a little bit of a dive, low nose down attitude, and we're providing guidance for our missile the entire way. Again, if the AI is intelligent, if he knows what he's doing, he will be copying something similar to this uh, maybe he'll be turning the other way but he should be hitting a crank right about now and 37 miles the mar is about 30 miles at 30,000 feet so i'm going to go ahead and recommit here and we're going to fire another fox 3 another amram at this guy and watch his behavior on the radar he is cranking as i'm seeing on the radar here he actually is cranking towards me Okay, I've lost the lock now, so that second AMRAM is probably going to be useless. 
it's not going to have the uh, proper guidance to get too close to him. So that one's probably trashed. I'm going to go ahead and go cold here. Uh, because he's probably guiding an Amram. And it is kind of like quiet <laughs> when you do when you BVR fight an F-15 somewhat. Because... Uh, it's using track while scan. It's kind of an ominous silence. You know, you're being locked, but you don't even know it. There's missiles being fired at you. You don't even know it. Okay, we got this guy 25 miles off the nose now. And he has reduced his altitude the same as me. This is quite interesting. That AI is uh, kind of matching my, my moves here. And the fact that he's still alive is an improvement over the last AI. Um, so we're going to start climbing a little bit here. I want to get into a better PK shot. Uh, PK is probability of kill, right? So I'm going to climb a little. I'm going to try to get fast. And Fox 3. And we're going to defend. Keep the lock as long as possible, but we're pretty close, so we don't have to worry about that too much. We were at 13, 14 miles when I broke that lock. And we're off cold. That AI is now defending. I have him defensive. Oh, he's recommitted already on the RWR. This will be super interesting in tact view, I think, to see. Okay, I can see him visually here. I know YouTube compression might make this difficult. I'm going to switch over to Boresight here. To, there we go. Fox 3. And he is close. He is inside of 10 miles now. I have BVR fought real people that haven't given me this much of a challenge. There's a bit of a pucker factor here going. Because that thing keeps recommitting. I don't think it managed to get a missile off at me last time. I need to recommit. I need to keep that thing defensive. If I don't keep him defensive, he actually will kill me. But that AI is doing a very good job of defending everything I shoot at it so far. There he is. 8 miles now. And he's fired at me at 8 miles. Fox 3 from me. Now we have to defend aggressively here. He might actually kill me. That AI might actually kill me right now. Here we go. We're off cold. And if that missile doesn't hit him, I'm in big trouble. I can see him off by the... In that direction there. I'm going to try to recommit. Oh, we got him. Wow, we got him. That, there was a little bit of pucker factor in that. I actually quite enjoyed that fight. I, I'm very excited to see this in TAC view. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to TAC view and break this down. So far, amazing work by ED. Very good. Right, guys here we go uh, we'll have a quick look at this again i'm going to reiterate this this is not live yet it will be i think in tomorrow's uh open beta update i believe it might go live um but this is what we can expect to see we're going to increase the speed a little bit here so this f15 blue the player this is me um this is uh the ai f15 and so you can see we started about 100 nautical miles. I start climbing and also so does the AI. It does take the AI a second to figure out that it is in a dogfight. It doesn't know that yet. Or not a dogfight, a BVR fight. And as you can see, once he figures it out, once my radar emission hits him and he realizes, okay, I might be in a fight here, he starts climbing. You can see his mock speed going up. We're going to spend a lot of time just watching this AI. I'm not really too interested in my own behavior in this fight. Um, so he starts climbing. 
you can see his mock speeds. Also consider the AI has to be wary of its fuel state. It needs to be able to get home. Kind of useless if you shoot down the bandit and then you have to eject because you have no fuel, right? So keep that in mind. And also that this AI is on ace level. That's an important thing, okay? Um, this AI has now achieved uh, a TWS lock and he is at Mach 1, 39,000 feet. So that, that's pretty impressive here. Um, I'm at 39,000 feet. I'm at Mach 1.1. He is just shy of that. So I feel like, you know, they, it, the AI could be a little bit more, um, you know, gracious with its afterburner. It could be. Uh, that's up for debate, though. It's still pretty good. I have no complaints about this so far. Um, right here, we got 46 miles at the launch. Very good to see the AI understand that it can fire an AMRAM at this range. As you can see, I fired one as well. Um, in the past, you would have the AI, like it just wouldn't understand that the AMRAM can, can do this. You know, I would launch at 46 miles or even 50 miles, depending on my speeds. And the AI would just sit there and wait for 30 miles to shoot. You know, they just, they just didn't understand the capabilities of their weapon systems. So it seems like now they do. Uh, so this guy's at Mach 1-ish. He's at 40,000 feet. So these are actually pretty good launch parameters. Not bad at all. Uh, this is a dangerous missile. And then this thing gets fired at about 46 miles, 47 miles. Not bad. Not bad. And so that missile's in the air. And right around the same time is when I fired mine. So, uh, you know, I can't really complain about the AI's behavior here. It's fantastic. I crank and he cranks. Look at this. It's almost like a mirror understanding of how to do this now i'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive so i recommit here and i fire another missile ai continues to defend all the way down to 30 miles okay notice he is still mach 1 that's what you you want to stay above mach 1 pretty much throughout the entire fight um and the whole time that he's been doing this crank he's been providing guidance information for his amram as you can see that that thing is uh tracking well so he is keeping me within the gimbal limit of his radar as he cranks he's doing about a 30 degree dive here and he's chosen to come all the way down pretty much very close to the deck here and that's fine because he is fighting amrams they are extremely dangerous and what look at this he barely oh my god did i almost no okay it's off yeah yeah okay <laughs> the angles okay so this amram does come close ish but you know not really a danger to him uh, my other AMRAM, I broke the lock on this one by accident, so that one's trashed as expected. It has no idea what it's doing, um, and his missile also missed. And he, as you can see, I kind of defended pretty much as aggressively as he did. The only difference is I kind of recommitted here. He went straight down. I kind of recommitted here slightly and fired another missile, right, which ended up being useless. So it's not even like I gave myself a big advantage there. I did end up just wasting one missile. Um, so we are now at 27 miles and he has the lock and he doesn't shoot. Look at this, this, because these are not good launch parameters. You know, he's on the deck here, 21 miles on the deck, sort of below Mach one, like that MRAM will never hit. And the AI understands that, you know, and I, I understand that too. That's why I'm climbing. I'm trying to get a little closer to him. He drops his tanks and he starts diving because I fired this AMRAM and he starts chaffing and he is now at 12 miles. So it's like he understands the Mar. Look at this. This is actually uh, quite remarkable. The AI continues to push in. Now I would have liked to see him maybe fire a missile here just because he needs to shoot something to force me to defend, even though it's not good. I'm already cold. It's 12 miles. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, but I gave myself a big advantage here when I started climbing and I shot this thing. So this poor guy pushes in as far as he can. And then he realizes he's like, yeah, I'm not going to get a shot on this guy. You know, and if I continue forward, I'm going to eat this AMRAM to the face. So the AI is like, I have to defend. I'm about to go into the Mar and he starts defending. Look at this. It's amazing. And he narrowly, he's very aggressive, he narrowly escapes that AMRAM. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people do this. This is you can do this in real life, in, in not in real life, but you know, as a real person, I've seen this kind of behavior, and um, I don't, 
but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It is kind of aggressive. It is risky. It's high risk, high reward behavior. Um, this AI is just closing in here again, 12 miles. And because the reason it's high risk, high reward is because as you can see, he remained nose hot on me the entire time. Whereas I had to do, I did a little cold maneuver. I was actually defensive for a little while. I wasn't nose on. Um, cause I assumed that he had fired an amber and I wasn't going to take that chance. Right. Uh, but this guy stayed nose hot the entire time. And at 10 miles, his reward is that he's going to get to fire his missile first. Okay. Now I get, and that, that's a quite a dangerous missile actually at that range. And at eight miles, like well inside the Mar, there's that AMRAM for me. And I go cold. My AMRAM hits the ground here and he does a very nice, he goes cold. Look at this. He goes, whoop. No AMRAM's going to hit him because he respected the Mar and he did a couple of seconds of a cold behavior. He went cold and look at this little, you know, chaff thing that he does as he, as he goes through this little circle, he understands that at a certain point here, he might hit a notch momentarily against the missile and he might be able to get it to go for chaff. So he's doing it. You know, he, the AI is now understanding that you need perpendicular behavior to a missile in order to maximize the effect of chaff. And so there it is. He's defending. He comes back nose hot fires another one at eight miles. This is good, man. This is good. And understand that this is the first iteration of what ED is putting out. I would expect them to continue to fine tune this kind of behavior down the road, you know, whenever they get the time, but this for, for first launch, I mean, this is pretty good. And you got 8.6 miles. He fires this and this is, this is high pucker factor stuff. The AI is actually getting nose on and firing before me. You know, like I'm actually kind of feeling defensive here. There's his missile, my missile. I go cold because I'm like, no, thanks, dude. And he's unlucky that his missile hits the ground. Look at that AI missile hits the ground. Boom. And my missile just skims over the ground. And catches him. And just because he's a little too aggressive, you know, he's, he's asking a little much. He continues to you know, push aggressively here. Although to be fair to him, he did go defensive here, but he's like, okay, I'm going to push him. And he pushes him and high risk, high reward this time, no reward. And he eats the AMRAM to the face. This is fantastic stuff by ED. All the guys over at ED who worked on this, congratulations to you guys. This is a fantastic update for the AI. Uh, and it's really nice to see uh, ED continuing to try to increase the realism in DCS and give the guys who are mostly single player, uh, you know, they're mostly into DCS for single player. They're going to get a huge benefit from this and having a more competitive AI, a lot more fun. So really, really nice work. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.